Hello and welcome to The 101. My name is Kerry Whip and today we're discussing the beautiful gemstone that is tourmaline. Now, tourmaline wasn't recognised as its own gem variety until the year 1703. The reason for this is because in the 1500s in Brazil, a Spanish conquistador actually confused this gemstone for emerald. This belief went on for hundreds of years until science finally stepped in and recognised tourmaline as its own mineral species. This gemstone is said to promote warmth and healing and also to bring balance to the soul. It's often referred to as the stone of wisdom and if you're an October baby, then this is your birthstone. The name tourmaline is believed to have been derived from the Sinhalese word tourmale, which translates to mixed stones. They come in a rainbow of colours. In fact, ancient Egyptians believed the gemstones to receive their colour from passing over a rainbow. According to legend, children playing in the Dutch streets with the stones found that they attracted dirt particles as they were being heated by the sun. On showing their magnificent effect to their parents, they passed the stones to local gemologists who realised that they were a unique mineral group and later named them after the label on the original package. Tourmaline is ferromagnetic, meaning that it can attract particles which is quite an interesting phenomena for Mother Nature to be able to produce. This is known as pyroelectricity. The reason tourmaline is found in such a myriad of colours is due to the differences in the chemical composition. Not only this, but the crystal structure of tourmalines also vary between types. However, what they all have in common is that they occur in nature as long, thin, straight gems and usually have triangular cross-section. Some of the rarest and most sought after types of tourmaline include bicolour, which can feature a green colour at one end and pink at the other, and beautifully vivid Paraiba tourmaline. Tourmalines are mined in various parts of the world, including the USA and Madagascar. But the most prolific source for tourmaline is in Brazil. This location includes the aforementioned Paraiba tourmaline, which is named after the Paraiba state. So I hope you've gained a nice insight into the world of tourmaline today. So YouTubers, what do you love about tourmaline and why? Leave a comment below. Now we actually made this video as a special request, so don't be shy. Let us know what you'd like to see next and it could be the next 101. Take care now.